blasphemous art as NFTs. So guys, wow. we are happy to announce. Well, actually, I'm going to let Armin take this away because. Wait, no, you. I, I'll just add commentary. Okay, so um, uh, <laughs> there's something called an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Which, um, thank you because I just learned what NFT even stood for like two weeks ago <laughs> non fungible token and it is cryptocurrency <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, okay, <Armin> don't... <laughs> okay it's like a digital uh, contract that cannot be undone and that it's will is permanently stays within the cloud forever as long as there are computers that are as long as the fans be running the uh, the contracts be holding up that's what an nft is okay it's basically you don't need to know understand how blockchain technology works okay but nft is a new technology that lets makes it easier for people to buy and sell digital product uh, it basically replaces like let's say for example you see an art um, and you want to buy it you give people money and they write a contract and now this art is yours the, the contract says that you are the owner of this new art okay so when it comes to digital products or digital art um, instead of having a paper contract that makes it makes you the owner of this art right and uh, makes this art yours and you you don't no, it's not you don't have a the difference is like you don't have a copy of the art anymore it's beyond just having a copy of a digital art you own the rights of distribution production this digital property becomes yours right uh, if you buy the uh, buy the art right so nfts is basically something like that makes that ownership possible just like a if a contract you sign makes you own a physical art and an nft lets you own a digital product and it doesn't have to be art it could be anything any digital product could you could own using nfts right hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy kali you know like me then that means that you probably want more blasphemous art well, I have good news for you. If you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below, then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook that's blasphemousart.com slash ebook sign up with your email and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy what could be better so make sure you sign up link below so one marketplace where sell where you could turn digital products into uh, nfts and sell them as nfts is called OpenSea, and we went and made a blasphemous art um store um on open sea which is called you see it's called blasphemous art and we have put nine at well so far nine of our most some of our most beautiful art on uh, nft and i actually like this one as an nft because this one yes, it's the best. um hold on let's unselect this so i could show you oh wait there's sh sh the link to our uh collection on open sea in the live chat by the way oh okay she was, she was, saying, was this saying this is this is freaking amazing it's a huge movement in the digital art scene i'm so happy way to go guys oh, oh thank, thank you oh uh, yeah and and susie little, uh, posted the link to it to the open uh, to our open sea store but the reason why this one is so special to be on open sea is because um because um uh, NFTs run on the Ethereum blockchain, right? And Lakshmi here, Lakshmi is the god of wealth in Hinduism. So because she's the god of wealth, we thought she would be a good representative of um, showing this cryptocurrency because these, this is 
and new, the future of wealth might be in blockchain. So Lakshmi being the goddess of, uh, of wealth would be a good person to represent this Ethereum currency that she's holding right now. This is the symbol of Ethereum. And Ethereum is, again, the blockchain where this whole the NFTs are built upon, right? So it, it was very fitting for us to include that in the, in the Blasphemous Art. But hey, look at some of these. We have Lakshmi here again. Lakshmi with... Draw like, how do you draw Paddy here? That's a beautiful one. And then we have... This is our most recent one. This, this one is, is so good. This is glorious. We just put out the final version last night, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. This is so amazing. We have um, Ravana and Sita. Again, we the story behind this. Oh, by the way, if you want to see the story behind our art, we have like what this art is supposed to represent. Um, we have we have it here. Oh, actually, for let's read the. Let's read the one that was Ethereum because it will show us why we are celebrating this a little bit. Okay. The Hindu goddess Lakshmi is known by many as a deity of wealth, prosperity, and fortune. Here we see she is pictured gifting a blessing of the cryptocurrency Ethereum. Currencies, like myths, are stories that obtain their value from the people who believe in them. We don't know what stories we are going to tell each other in the future, but if humanity is to reach godhood, the stories that are currencies will have to be stories that we want to tell, not stories that are written for us by central banks or governments. Yes. Uh, yo, wow. Shuba is saying, I know where my cryptocurrency is going. Oh, wow. Um, okay, cool. Shuba is going to buy one of our arts from our, um, make it, make one of our art his own. Guys, if you want to own any of our arts for yourself, by the way, if anybody actually buys one of our arts as an NFT, we would have to actually remove it uh, from circulation on our social media because we wouldn't have any more rights to that art, right? Um, but yeah, but if anybody wants to buy any of our art as NFTs, uh, go check out the Is it link in the description? Um, I just put it in the chat and I'm going to put it in the description as soon as After this is over. Is I don't think okay, I can yeah, do it live. If you want to own any of our NFTs, you could go make it your own in our in the description. Rivka? So I have a question. Let me understand this. So there's this thing called blockchain, which is like a digital ledger or something out there in the universe. And when you buy an NFT, it becomes non-interchangeable. So once you own it, you well, can't sell it to anyone else or no you can still sell it no the thing that is not interchangeable the thing that is non-fungible is the art right so think about like a fungible thing is like cash like my like if i have one dollar and you have one dollar if you give me that one dollar and i give you my one dollar bill it's like nothing like they're completely replaceable right like or if i have a five dollar bill or five one dollar bills they're completely exchangeable that makes them fungible they can replace each other right and even right. cash is not that fungible because they have serial numbers on it right? right something that is extremely fungible is like gold because the element of gold is completely replaceable like a gold is replaceable with other gold that those are called fungible products right um a non-fungible product is like the Mona Lisa, right? Or like a piece of art. Like right. there's one of it. Yeah. Is, this is unique, right? So you can't replace it. So when I this this art became an NFT, not when I, not when it's sold. The moment I minted the art and I turned it into an NFT, you know, there's a process called minting, right? And you mint this and it turns into an NFT. At, at that moment, it's a non fungible, uh, you know, digital. Okay. All right. You, yeah but you know no i can sell it to you and then you could go sell it actually that's what most people do right now on the nft market most people who are buying and selling art on the nft market it's not their own art they go and see like for example let's like, see somebody comes and says like oh my god this is selling for so cheap this is only like a quarter of a euphorium right they're like these nobody has discovered what amazing art atheist republic is making i'm gonna go buy this before people discover it and I'm I can sell this for like five 
if it, you know ether like i don't know what's the one unit called ethers or if, yeah uh i could buy it and sell it for 10 times more when people discover how amazing this is right so actually most people who are buying it they're not even buying it to keep it most people who are buying it they're trying to find art that they think is very unique uh that they could actually go and sell it for more at some point so a lot of people are actually making a lot of money from making this uh discoveries in the nft market and buying it and selling it for more um yeah so yeah it's pretty cool anyways um we just want we wanted to play along see what will happen we don't we don't we're not saying that anything will happen but yeah. it would be amazing yeah amazing. yeah so if you guys are watching this live when this ends i'm gonna update the description and the link will be at the bottom if you didn't catch it in the live chat cool 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 all right that was fun anything that we need to highlight oh yeah this becomes a token on the blockchain think of it as a title on a car yes exactly right basically we are selling the title perfect perfect explanation chris armin has turned uh, my life into blockchain and i'm like hey <laughs> guys here's the thing i my view is that i don't know which cryptocurrencies are going to become successful on which one of them not i have no idea but the whole blockchain technology as a whole it's hard to imagine that that's not the future okay like maybe i'm not saying it's which ones okay but the whole idea behind blockchain it's going to take over at some point in my opinion i might be completely wrong okay um anyways as long uh, as we have electricity yes as long as <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have electricity. i mean if we don't have electricity we have bigger problems than <laughs> exactly but i'm <laughs> saying no, that, then it, right but then yeah. it's not a a unit that you can buy and sell because nobody cares yeah i mean it's a zombie you want the clams or the bread or the you know right yes exactly if the if if cali the demon cali comes and it's the end of times or if the dijal shows up <laughs> and life as we know it is different then at that point none of the blockchains mashiach mashiach <laughs> <laughs> oh yes okay okay yes and Murtad is agreeing with that. um oh my oh yeah so start selling souls as NFT. i actually have an idea about recognizing atheist republic becoming recognizing marriages as nft because you know people sometimes you appeal to a church or to a, to a mosque or to a Jewish authority or whatever to officially recognize a marriage. A I was, yes, I was thinking like, what if Atheist Republic uses NFTs as a way to officially recognize this, um, you know, to mark permanently mark your marriages as an NFT. So that's one idea I had. Let me know if you think that's a good idea, comment. Hey guys, YouTube has fully demonetized our channel for supposedly hateful and harmful conduct um, without telling us what we did wrong. Um, if we get to 1,000 patrons, we will be able to keep paying all our team, our editors, our artists without ever having to worry about monetization again, which would be amazing. Yay! So please support Atheist Republic on Patreon. Link in the description below.